In this video, I will compare Zapier versus Power Automate and tell you which of these automation tools is best for who and why. So first, what exactly are they? Basically, they help you automate tasks across different apps and services. So for example, you could integrate Google Sheets with Slack or maybe Gmail with Asana. So there are thousands of different apps that you can integrate using these softwares. Now they are pretty different and Zapier is more focused on modern apps such as Slack and marketing softwares such as MailChimp and other email marketing tools and for example productivity apps and Zapier integrates with over 7000 different apps so they have a huge range of different apps that you can actually integrate with and also stuff like TDO, live chat, fresh desk and pretty much any app that you may be using for your business will be available on Zapier. Well, Power Automate by Microsoft is a lot more limited in that regard because it integrates with much fewer apps. But if you are already using the Microsoft suite of tools then Power Automate can definitely be very helpful for you. And also a difference between Zapier and Microsoft Power Automate is that Microsoft Power Automate also integrates with a lot of desktop apps that are native. And another difference between Zapier and Microsoft Power Automate is that Microsoft Power Automate also integrates with a lot of desktop apps that don't have API integration, so those are not available on Zapier. So personally, I would use Power Automate if you want to automate tasks that are inside of the Microsoft suite of tools. For example, if you want to use OneDrive in your integrations, but in most cases, I would actually go with Zapier because Zapier just has so many apps that it integrates with and it's more of a modern tool. And in my opinion, it is better than Microsoft Automate. Now they both also allow you to use AI to actually create the templates and the workflows, so the automations. And on top of that, Zapier also integrates with ChatGPT. So for example, you can send AI generated emails and you can do so many different things using Zapier. Now in terms of their pricing, Zapier has a forever free plan that allows you to do 100 tasks per month with unlimited steps. So one task is basically one automation being done. For example, when a lead comes in through my Facebook ads, then I want to assign this person to them or whatever automation you want to do in whatever app, you can do it 100 times per month in the free plan. Now the maximum here is two step steps, so you can only add two steps to every automation in the free plan. Now if we pay monthly, you will see that it does become a bit more expensive here. And let's say that we want to do 2000 tasks per month, then the professional plan here costs 67 euros and 50 cents per month. The team plan costs a little over 95 euros and for enterprise there is custom pricing. Now comparing this to the pricing of Power Automate, they also have a free plan, but that's just a 30 day free trial, so it's not free forever. And then here the Power Automate Premium is 15 USD per month, but this is per user. So if you want to add multiple users to your Microsoft Power Automate, then this can really stack up. Then you have the Power Automate Process, so if you want to use bots, which is the AI, then you have the Power Automate process right here, which is $150 per bot per month. And then you have the Power Automate hosted process, which is $215 per bot per month. So depending on how you are using these tools, Zapier can be a lot cheaper than Microsoft Power Automate, but Microsoft Power Automate in certain cases is cheaper, but it will be pretty similar for most people's needs. Personally, I prefer the pricing of Zapier where you pay per amount of tasks that you do and not per amount of users. So that concludes this comparison of Zapier versus Power Automate. If this comparison was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.